Okay, well tonight I got my new work center all set up and I'm actually going to start working on building my first circuit board. Now, I've never done this before. I've watched a few YouTube videos, plug for YouTube, and uh, talked to some folks and got some ideas and recommendations, but chances are I'm probably going to mess this up. So I got enough parts to try this a few times. Should be fun for all those out there that have never done this before to watch this so you can see all the things I'm going to do wrong so you don't. And then for all the people that know what you're doing, feel free to point it out. Uh, so that I can learn how to do better. So uh, I'm excited just to give it a try to see how it all works. So let me show you where I started. I have my uh, circuit board holder right here and I have my perforated circuit board in there already and I've already started putting in parts here. You can see they just come in and out really easy. Uh, it's just got little holes right there. There you go. You can see those holes. You just push everything down into those holes and then we flip it all over and we can solder those things on the back. Right now I'm just doing an initial layout. Here is the initial uh, layout that I did in Eagle and uh, let's see here, make sure it's the right orientation. All right, nope, yep, that's the right orientation right there. So that's the layout we have there and that's the real version of it. So. Let's get started putting it all together. Okay, so like I said, I've never really done one of these before. I'm just kind of following my instructions here that I put together and putting all the parts on here. Just what I discovered is that what I said to you before regarding plans being everything that's not what I said to you before. <laughs> I said, what I said to you before, plans are good until you meet the enemy in battle. And that is what has happened here. Okay, so I have all my components on there. But what I'm worried about here is that I'm not going to be able to route power the way that I did I had it on my schematic. So I have this idea that if I turn everything the other direction, then I can get basically all the positive and the negative leads to align with each other. So I can daisy chain them, you know. So let's say uh, this one right here, make that negative, then I can just quickly run negative, 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 negative. Oh, so then, tucking that out, we're going to want to put that there. So we have negative. Then I'm going to pot. That doesn't make any sense either. Here we go. I know this is exciting. So now I can have negative, 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 negative. Run that around. Positive, 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 positive. Run that around. Which means all this needs to shift down. And then what I can do is I can have all the signals on the inside directly pointed at the muck. So this pin right in here can be the one that runs to the mucks. So, I don't know. I've never done this before, so let's see what kind of trouble I can get into. Huh? All right, let me get this all done. Okay, so next change. I turned these 90 degrees so that I can have positive coming in, run that way, and then run down. This is out, this is in run positive all the way there and then run negatives run negatives so now I got a nice u-shape to everything that looks really quite nice okay so here I am I've got the data sheet pulled up for this particular regulator and I need to get the wiring diagram where are you at pin configuration there we go ground Output, ground, input. Output, ground, input. Okay. That's what we needed. Right there. Perfect. Okay, so I think I got this figured out. So I had to reposition my input and output power and put my 5-volt regulator right here. But let's flip over here. So here, this is going to be the 5-volt bus. And it goes out and around to the outer side of these connectors 
This is going to be the ground bus. It'll go to the middle of everything. This is 12 volt right here, and this is 12 volt right here. So these two will be connected to each other, and everything else will run off of all that. That should be it. Okay, so that totally just did not happen. All of the stuff just fell out. Oh my goodness. See how bad it was. Hey there, look at all those things. Well, it's not too bad. Okay, so yeah, I just, I had it all set up to where it wouldn't fall out. And it fell out anyway. Like I said, plans, they're good until you meet the enemy in battle. Let's put, I don't know, those both have to go the same way. Otherwise we get in trouble. Okay. Where do you go? Where do you go? Where do you go? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you go over here. So I will admit, it's kind of hard to do video and solder and learn how to do all this all at the same time. Flux there. Okay, let's see if we can't do this. Real easy like. Just need to do a little tap. Not work. Okay, I got my tip there. I'm bringing my solder tip I'm letting go okay we're tacking away here my objective here is to just get it all tacked on okay so I checked checked my tacking everything looked good so now I'm going around the board here and I'm putting on the full solder, so I'm soldering everything in permanent. So, we got it all soldered up here. Mux is all soldered. 4.7 kilo ohm is soldered. 220 kilo ohms solder. That's our voltage divider. We got our 5 volt regulator soldered. We've got all of our connectors along the bottom and along the top are all soldered. So take it out here now. Looking pretty good, huh? Okay, so I just got the top side done here. I'll focus there for you. So we have the positive going on the outside and negative coming on the inside, and then we have the signals I inside. I think I just got the ground and the positive buses all put in place so positive is running all the way along the outside that's 5 volts because it's coming out the 5 volt regulator which is right here ground is in the middle going all the way around that leaves my signal pins exposed still and then I have 12 volt right here and 12 volt in and in all grounded so we flip it over what that means is the outer pins are all positive, and the inner pins, the middle pins are all negative, and then the very inner pins are all 
signal. We're going to do some ohm testing, which means I'm checking to make sure that the paths where there should be paths for electricity are there, and where there's not supposed to be paths, there's not. So when this equals 1, that means that the path is closed, and when it's close to 0, it means the path is open. So I should be able to go here, and then here, there we go. That signal is made, and there's no going, jumping, the signal's not jumping to another pin that's next to us, so my solder's good. So now I'm going to check the negative bus, which are these middle pins. There we go. That's working. It's working. I think I skip one there. That's working. It's working. Working. There we go. So it makes it across the voltage regulator. So that's good. There we go. And there we go. So uh, that worked. All these pins are in correctly. Uh, so that's awesome. So nice work. Not bad for my first time soldering. Pretty happy with that. It was fun putting together uh, the board. Uh, it was really interesting to go from, actually as an engineer, I think it's one of the coolest things, to go from an idea in your head, coming up with some, some way to solve a problem that that idea has to do with, design it. Uh, I really like using the computer-aided design tools, so Eagle was pretty nice to use. And then, uh, you know, print it out, print out the, the schematic for the layout that I had, and then actually have the real hardware, you know, go through the process of finding the hardware, buying the hardware, getting it here, and then putting it all together on the board, uh, and then and seeing what you did wrong and seeing what you did right. Um, not everything I did was wrong. Uh, I had some errors that I made in the layout because I never laid out a board before. So uh, just a simple correction with the real world components uh, makes it pretty easy for me to uh, keep going and keep moving forward. So. It was, it was fun uh, going through this exercise. I got a lot more to do. Uh, we still have to um, solder and put wires in for all the other connectors and the sensors and get that stuff all connected. And then we got to go through testing, make sure everything works correctly. And then I got to start building a whole bunch of cables. So it is going to be uh, quite a few videos in this particular series. I hope you enjoy them. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And if you would like to get notified when we have new videos, hit the little bell to the left to subscribe. In the meantime, everyone, have a great day. This is The Real Martian. Out.